So in middle school science, we've been learning about biomimicry. And what biomimicry is, it's like basically taking a adaption from an animal, an insect, or a organism, like even like a flower or something like that, and creating like a new, like a project about it that can help people or be interesting. So for example, there was, if you know in hospital, there are a lot of germs and stuff, and people have been getting really, really sick from all the germs in the hospital. And so this guy, I think, found out that shark skin doesn't, is like smooth and the stuff doesn't stick to it. So he created this like, plastic sheet that germs don't stick to so he can put it on like door handles or like seats or tables on the um or counters at the hospital and people won't get as sick so that's an example of biomimicry. First we like picked our organisms so I, for example I picked my grasshopper and I named it Joe <laughs> and then we researched it and found out some things and took notes and looked under the microscope and then we um, sent them to Missouri to um, this person called, named Dr. Sue, and she had an electric, electronic, like, electronic mi microscope, so she could like see like really into the organisms. And then we FaceTimed with her, and we could and we could like see what she saw in the microscope, and we could like see a lot of cool pictures and find out some cool things. So, and like what these things were for and stuff like that, so. Okay, so I did the fabulous arm aesthetic, and so my bug was the, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> it was the spangled flower beetle, and on the antenna A, because one antenna is an antenna and the two antenna is, is two antenna, <laughs> and um, they had these like touch sensors, so I thought of a problem in the world, and with prosthetics, you can't like feel. And so I would attach the touch sensors to the um, hand, and so people with prosthetics would be able to feel. It's amazing. All right, so I did the Slurper 3000, and so it comes from the adaptation from the stag beetle, which is a siphon, which is that yellow thing. And so what I did was I incorporated the siphon into my um, little vacuum sort of thing, which is like, it's an Amazon Alexa, Roomba, and then a Slurper 3000 in one. And so it can like slurp up liquids, which no other vacuum can do right now. And you can listen to music and give it commands. And you can also vacuum and it won't blow up because there's like a waterproof film all over it and inside like the little puff balls of the uh like the fluff ball there are like the speakers which are also waterproof so the liquid won't like blow it up again and so that is the slurpers 3000 have everybody has their own personal plane everybody so and planes malfunction a lot as you can tell from this picture here, that is a plane exploding in midair because of a gas leak. So, a plastic plane wing can fix that because it is clear and you can, it is easier for the maintenance people to see what is wrong with the plane inside the wing because the wing is the most important part of the plane. So, the, my, the bug that I got the adaptation from was the cicada which has clear wings. No one knows really why they're there for, but my assumption is that so when they fly, they can see underground when to get uh, to see like predators. And then, um, uh, oh, the, so the clearness of the wing makes it so um, in the army, the enemies cannot track you on their radars. So uh, that's kind of cool. And it's much more aerodynamic than a metal wing. So my project was called the Joe Jumper, and basically it's a adaption. Like I use the red-legged grasshopper as an adaption, and this suit basically like helps you like jump really high using what the red-legged grasshopper has. So these spikes are also on the red-legged grasshopper, and they give it traction. And these um, wings will help direct the person when jumping. 
And this um, GJE, I call it, is the grasshop grasshopper jumping exoskeleton. And it basically mimics the grasshopper's powerful leg. And it will help you jump even higher. And these, this, leg, this foot um, shoe is basically what would be on the shoe. And it's um, for in the, on the grasshopper, they have this little padding thing which helps them land and take off. And so I also include hydraulics, which this is an example of hydraulics. So instead of jumping and going splat, they would jump and go like this, if you can see. And it would absorb the shock. So yeah.